ESM and Cortland. I'm Coach Michael Ferris alongside of Vinny Bova. Good night. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. So we have a look at uh, Cortland, who's got four wins on the season, and we have ESM with one lone victory. They played earlier this year to a score of 44-25, Cortland on top. And we'll be with you in just a second after the starting lineups. ESM's got a couple games left this season, so many would not be senior night tonight. We're about ready for opening tip. You will notice that uh, Cortland is a very young squad. Starting only one senior. Getting ready to tip off here. Lauren Ott 
going to do the tip for ESM. This is As her Lindsay fir- Babcock will do it for Cortland. Her first year playing basketball for the school. Portland wins the tip. Portland in there, purple. ESM in white. Rebound to Taylor Filmer. Both teams starting off in girl to girl defense. Ball off Cortland. ESM will maintain possession. Out of bounds on ESM. Double team underneath, ball off the leg of uh, Taylor Filmer. Cortland gets the ball underneath. Seven oh four left in the first. As Cortland inbounds. Slow start for both teams. Last time they played to 44-25. Blocking foul on number 14, Amy Havill. Her first team first. She's got a tough matchup guarding Cortland's best player, Tasai Lewis, leading the team in scoring and rebounding. Cy Lewis with the two. Last time these two teams uh, matched up, Cy had 14 points and 10 rebounds, leading both teams in scoring. Corlin puts on a little bit of press here. D- double dribble on Sam Valentine. Yeah, they, they forgot about the 10 second call, so all of a sudden they had to speed up to get it across half court, leading to a turnover. on the help. Sam Valentine call with the foul. Second team foul. Desai Lewis with the two. Cortland's relying on her and it's working. She's averaging about 10 points a game. Already has four here. Travel on the Spartans. Two turnovers the last two trips. Two scores in the last two trips for Cortland. Lindsay Babcock takes a hard foul. She's her second leading scorer, so they'll go to her next. She's got some size. Steal by Lindsey Babcock. Corlin is running up the floor. Loose ball, everybody hitting the floor. Jump Good ball, up. possession arrow goes to the Spartans. 
press is turned on by Cortland. Got an out of bounds off ESM. Timeout ESM with about 521 left in the first. It's our first timeout. Coach Harrington probably cannot be too happy with the three turnovers in the last three possessions. It's hard to score when you don't get a shot on the basket. So he's probably going to get them a little bit refocused, maybe even deal with the press that's given ESM a little bit of trouble. Cortland making the 45 minute trip up to ESM and probably happy that it's not snowing. So one of the things about YouTube where this game is being broadcast, they probably don't like copyrighted music just flying straight through there. So we're gonna talk right over the top of it. <laughs> so the Spartans are without one of their leading scorers tonight, Holly Carr, is out for tonight's game. The junior is averaging six points a game. So somebody else is going to have to pick up the scoring for the Spartans. Inside out pass into Cy Lewis with her second rebound. She also leads the team in that category. Foul on Amy Havill, that's her second. Cy Lewis to the line. She's got a quick first step. It's gonna be a hard matchup for whoever has to guard her this evening. Smith both of them and now it's a jump ball possession goes to Cortland gotta love the hustle on that play rebound Lauren out ESM up the floor on a fast break and a two for Sam Valentine Breaks the glass on that. Uh, that was kind of covering the basket, so breaks the drought four to two. Spartans cut the lead in half. Nice block by Taylor Filmer. And they're out running again. Looks like in that timeout, they talked about pushing tempo. Uh, I agree with you there, Ben. That last possession, probably a little too much dribbling. But Cortland's got these wheel. Foul and the basket. It's a fourth so. team for ESM. And almost like a five out setup. Cortland just runs through. Next girl's coming running through. So if you foul, you're eventually going to be behind the girl going to the basket. Yeah, actually, I like the offense that they're running. It's good. Did you talk to Coach about it? No. Nah. Tasai Lewis gets a brief rest. Cortland and extends the lead. They convert the three point play. Another layup for Sam Valentine. Move, counter move. So after two layups on two possessions, Cortland calls the timeout. Didn't he get a lot of experience playing ball? A little bit. Not, 
Not a ton. I gotta say I'm pretty impressed with the last uh, cheerleader move there. Tossed the girl a few feet in the air. And we're back ready for some more action. To Cy Lewis, leading scorer tonight's game. Continues to take a little breather. And for the first time tonight, number 15, Angelina Thomason in the game for the Spartans. Leading scorer for the Spartans, Savagin. Just over 10 points a game. So here comes the cutters. Almost anybody who comes to a cut gets a double screen. Uh, possibly a kick there, they let that one go. Shot clock violation on Cortland. Calls the press off. Coach Nolan Sinclair for the Purple Tigers. Comes up just, Sam Valentine comes up just a little bit short. Tough angle to make that pass to Sam Valentine. Angelina keeps it, she's gonna make it to the hoop. Gets fouled. And by Lindsey Babcock. That's her first, her first team foul and her first personal foul. Spartans at the line for two. The way that they're uh, able to score is by taking the ball to the basket, getting layups. Just off the front rim by Thomason. 2.43 left here in the uh, first quarter. Good hustle. Angelina Thomason, I think, took a shot to the mouth. Megan Schufeld also in the game, number four. Angelina puts up the three. Youth movement for both teams out there, lots of 10th graders. Uh, Taylor Filmer was had her hands up, which normally you don't get called for a foul, but once the the middle of her body got contacted, her arms came down, and the officials have to call that. Tonight's officials, Chris Helinski and Larry Brunner. Would have liked to have seen Sam pass that ball up. Megan Schufelt had made some space up the court and a pass could travel faster than someone running. Good pass by Megan, able to find the open girl. Rebound ESM. To two for Angelina Thomason. It's 
Score is now six to eight. Cy Lewis at the line for two. Spartans are running into a little bit of a foul trouble. Already got five fouls in the first quarter. Kara Miller in for Sam Valentine. And Casey San Andrews in for Megan Chufelt. Ooh. Little help off the glass. The press is back on. Not really sure why they ever went away from it. It's been uh, working the whole time. It kind of came off when Tosice, uh Lewis came off. I don't know if that had anything to do with it, but. That's a two for Elena Rabison. It's now 12 to six. Cortland in the lead. So blocked by Tasai Lewis. A little bit aggressive. The crowd blocking reacting to the blocking. Kara was there, but the only way the contact happened, I bet you if we look back at a replay, um, she stuck her knee out to make the contact. Yeah, I actually don't mind the call. Coach Harrington looking for an explanation. He's not getting one. April capitalizing right now. Cortland's on a five nothing run. They get the steal. And it goes out of bounds. Cortland stays with the ball. So a little under a minute left here in this first quarter. Ooh. Everybody on Cortland seems to have a quick, very quick first step. Ooh. ESM might have got away with one on that. And his ESM has been doing better when they attack the basket. They struggle with on-ball pressure. Yep, that shot looked a little bit rushed. Six seconds. Angelina Thomason with the layup as time expires. It's a big basket. 13 to eight here. Gives them something after positive. one. Gives them something to be a positive about during the end of the first quarter discussion. We've got seventh and eighth grade modified in the house as well tonight. Might get one of them on during the third quarter to talk about how their season's going. It's just underway. Seemed like in that first quarter, they came out a little slow, and then after that first time out, they brought it up with the intensity. Yeah, that's a good observation, Vinny. They, Sam Valentine got them started by taking the ball to the basket. Right side seems to be the side where I think they got three of their eight points on right-hand layups. So maybe even all four baskets were that way.
That will pick it in for the Spartans. Spartans will inbound. It would be nice to get that basket at the buzzer and then come back with another one. Nice screen. And a roll and a jump ball. Going to Cortland. Amy Havo back in with two fouls. Got to be careful. She got two real quick. They switched the zone. This might help. Right side again. And a block. Ooh, you don't like to see a foul 90 feet from the basket. So I believe Cortland thinks they've got it figured out that ESM's taking layups. Now's a good time for a pump fake on the way in. Get Cortland up. They've only, only had one foul in that first quarter. Thomason with a tip off of Tasai Smith. They're going to put the pressure back on. Like you said, they are going for a lot of layups. If I was Nolan Sinclair right now, I'd stay in the middle and make him shoot. Ooh. Reverse layup. Cheyenne Lewis with the layup to make it 15 to eight. Cortland in the speed lead. to get down the court. Coach yes. Harrington doesn't like that effort. Sam Valentine gonna come back in. Missed three there by Ashley Shortsleeve. Cow does not like that call, or er, lack of a call. Coach Brunner is going over to explain it to Coach Harrington. I'm not sure where the held ball was though. So is that the second held ball this quarter? Mm, telegraph. It's a steal by Tsai Lewis and a layup to make it 17 to eight. 8.13 to start the quarter. And we now have 17-8. Spartan cheerleaders keeping us entertained during the break in action. ESM's JV team was victorious earlier this evening against Cortland. over Cortland. Spartans ball underneath their own basket. Mm -hmm. 
think a big difference if ESM could drain one of those threes. Or two, or three. Blocking Fowler, foul by Taylor Filmer. You tried to say all that at once. <laughs> Believe that's her second, the team's second. She's gonna shake her head and disagree with that one, but if she watches the game film, she's gonna see her. Her, you know, she kind of leaned in, creating the contact. Both go down for Cheyenne Lewis. Wonder if they're sisters. Could be. Should have asked coach that before the game started. We got our first fake. Turnover Cortland, possession ESM. Press back on. That corner right after, over half court is a great place to trap. You get a few extra defenders that way. Tough to dribble through traffic. Angelina Thomason successful doing it, gets fouled. Goes back to the line. <laughs> Number one, Emily Sherwood in the game for Lindsey Bagpickock. Travel there on Emily Sherwood. Tough coming in the game and then traveling. I was just thinking that. Rough that's start. What, but that's what I'm going to attack right now on, on offense. I would go right at her. Turnover on the Spartans. That came uh, dangerously close to hitting our camera. Out of bounds, ball goes to the Spartans. 19 to nine here, four minutes left in the second quarter. Somebody cut to the basket. White skin and a little stuck when that ball goes in the corner. Opposite side flash would be open. Yeah, on that one, um, Sam would have looked up it. Looked like Taylor was open. <laughs> Sam Valentine with a nice pump fake to get that shot up. Was off the rim, but ESM maintains possession. She can get to two feet there and then pump fake. Good only save one, by Taylor Yeah, Fillmore. only one Cortland girl in the area and she ends up with the ball.
Lauren Ah with the two. It's a nice cut through the middle, gets the ball, rewarded with a basket. Lead eight. Time out, Cortland. Believe that is their second. Coach Sinclair was telling me that uh, Kathleen Starr is one of the representatives for Section 3 Athletics, so she serves on their uh, Student Athletic Council. Only a few in Section 3 are able to do that, so he's quite proud of that accomplishment. Meanwhile, on the Spartan side, Kara Miller uh, was just recognized with a Student Leadership Award. So these girls are not only successful on the court, but off. trying lots of different girls on Angelina Thomason in the middle. Two thirty three left in the second quarter. Nineteen to eleven. ESM. They both have two fouls apiece as a team. Neither team really in any foul trouble yet. Active on the glass, Morgan table. Coach Sinclair stating that if she makes the second one, that will press. First one just off the back iron. Looks like you were right. Is that number three on Sam? Foul on Sam Valentine. As I stated earlier, hard to get one of those fouls 90 feet from the basket. One more foul, ESM will be in the bonus and Cortland will be shooting. She'll be shooting regardless. Foul on Lauren Ott. A little confusion with the rest there. One thought it was on the floor and. Sub can't. Well, here's what happened. Whether it was on the floor or not, she's going to be shooting two, and that's why Taylor Filmer had to go back to the sideline because you can't sub until the second free throw. Six. 
No starters are on the floor for Cortland. Lane violation by Cortland. You don't Cortland. see it very often. It was the girl out, not even on the line. She stepped on the three-point line, which is a violation. You can't do that until the ball hits the rim. It's a good cut by Bella Pickard. Two points for her first of the game to make it 20 to 13. Cortland still in the lead. Hey, a hold on a basket here would be a big boost to get back to halftime. Yeah, I'd like to see them make it a five point game here before half with a little over a minute left here in the second quarter. A ball reversal. Two ball reversals. Seven seconds left on the shot clock. Drive by Angie Thomason. All right, 32 seconds left in the first half, 30 seconds on the shot clock. They could possibly hold it for the last shot of the half. That's what I would do here. Worst case scenario, it's a seven point game a half. I'm gonna tell Athletic Director Michael Clonin maybe to give you a, a call and see what you would do for other things. You seem to have a lot of good ideas. I've never seen that before. Steal here by Taylor Filmer. Spartans on the break. And a foul will go to the line for two. And it goes in for Taylor. I give a little, throw a little fake press on here just to slow this ball coming up the court. Uh, two eight. for two for Filmer. Eight seconds. Makes it a five point game here. Oh, and a buzzer. buzzer beater for Cortland. Two quarters, two buzzer beaters. 22-15 here at halftime. Cortland in the lead. So we'll be taking a look uh, with more at the start of the third quarter. We'll be back then. So until then, enjoy the halftime show.
person we're interviewing. All right, we're back for the second half action. Had a chance to talk with Coach Harrington. Looking for Angelina Thomason to uh, start doing some pump things underneath. Looks like there's um, Angie's starting the second half, that, but she did not start the first half. She had a pretty good game so far. To side Lewis. She's really doing a nice job on the offensive glass. Press is turned back on. It's a good move by Angelina. See, that's one of those moves. If she just did a jump stop, controlled herself, and then went back up, she could pump fake. Yeah, she had a few steps, so she had time to just. Keller Miller with a nice rebound. Hits Taylor Smith, lucky to hold on to the ball. Angelina Thomason. It's the same thing. Could have used those two baskets. Would have put them within three points. Nice steal by Taylor Filmer. Up ahead to Karen Miller. She does Block. the jump stop. <laughs> Blocked by Cheyenne Lewis. And now it's ESM ball. Still 22 to 15. ESM looks much better on the defensive end so far this half. Three possessions, three stops. Good job defensively there for the Spartans. Cut that move off. Shot clock winding down. To travel here on uh, Lindsey Babcock. Timeout by Cortland. So we are now joined by Mora Live. Hi, Mora. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. So you play for the Spartans. Uh, what what team are you on? I'm on the eighth grade modified basketball team. And how's that team doing this year? Good. We're really working well as a team. You guys played Central Square the other night. Yep. Um, what's your strength as a team? Um, we're really good at moving the ball and working to get the ball to the hoop. And can you uh, foresee yourself playing on this team one day? Yeah, I can definitely see myself there at some point. All right, so what's been the most fun about being here tonight? It's modified night. you got both modified teams. What's the best part tonight? Um, seeing what, like, I could be soon. I think you could play on that team. So we'll be right back after this to pick up on the third quarter. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Vinny, I'm not going to lie. I was really concerned that my uh, lollipop was going to fall on the ground during that interview. And that's a big concern to me. Seems like a problem. Going coast to coast, dribbling. Coral and bench getting loud. Steal by Cheyenne Lewis. 
ESM is without their outside threat, Holly Card. They could be using that tonight. Coast to coast, foul. Sam Valentine hits the deck. Sam Valentine at the line to shoot two. That foul was on number two, Kathleen Starr. Sam Valentine converts one of two to make it 22 to 16. It's Little actually press. the first point this half. Nice little press to take Cortland out of their rhythm. It's a good looking shot by uh, Ashley Short Sleeve. The defense is there for the Spartans last couple trips. Fish need to convert one of these baskets. Basket here would be huge. To travel on uh, Sam Valentine. That ball, ball got, goes. Yeah, it got cut. Ball got hung up on one of the Cortland defenders and she couldn't grab it in time, so. Difference here is clearly turnovers. ESM's turned the ball over a ton of times where Corlin has not. They keep the ball pretty secure. There was no way that was 30 seconds. Looks like they're having technical difficulties out on the court. They're going to have to probably do a jump ball, is what I'd have to assume. Spartans get the ball back. after the shot clock went off when it wasn't supposed to. That's a three for Sam Valentine. The first three of the night for ESM. Closest it's been since the start of the second quarter. Spartans down, or down five. They're having a tough time with those cutters through the lane. Lead goes back to seven. There's no score for a while and now Two possessions and there's five points just like that. The steal by Cheyenne Lewis on the break. A two and not a foul. A lot of contact, no call. And she gets up off the deck and back to play defense. Back and forth. A lot of contact in the last minute and a half or so. Yeah, like you said, a lot of contact. Refs are just letting them play. Only one foul between the teams. It's the first quarter that the Spartans weren't leading the foul count. 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Won't be a problem. Angie Thomason puts up the three and she hits it. Four point game, it's getting pretty close here. Have a shot to make it a one possession game. Big possession here for the Spartans. Sam Valentine's open. Sam in the Valentine corner. puts up the three and just off to the left. The last time these two teams played, Spartans only had 25 points. They have 24 right now. Sure hope they have more than that. 
at the end. Taylor Filmer with a bump, kind of pushing her out of bounds. Elena Rabison in for Cortland. Kathleen Starr out. Timeout by the Spartans. Good time. He's got a couple players that have uh, been playing the whole half. This gives him a chance to use the foul shot and take a break. So. Large crowd tonight getting behind the Spartan cheerleaders. Here we go is right. Closest the game has been since the, probably the first quarter. All right, we got the Super Bowl coming up. Vinny, you making any predictions? I've been picking against the Patriots. I said the Jags were going to win the uh, the they, AFC Championship. They did win. And so I guess I got to go with the Patriots. Remember, like, the whole game, the Patriots never got a foul, uh, penalty called against them? Yeah. Would be a cool story, though, if uh, Nick Foles came in for once and they won it all. It's happened before. I'm rooting for the Eagles. Not not a fan of the Patriots. Doug Williams with the Redskins and low contact there, no call. Out of bounds on Cortland. Yet again, another chance to make it a one possession game. Way to dribble back out of that. We ball reversal. Hold on uh, 23. Excuse me, that was a reach in, not a hold. Fast break layup for Tasai Lewis. She's gotta be in double figures now, don't you think? I would guess our statistician took the night off. Timeout by ESM. I'm assuming that is because they were about to get a 10 second violation. It was pretty close. There's 21 seconds left on the shot clock. Can't take them with you anyway, so. Both teams are in the lower half of the league. Jamesville Duet Red Rams on top, two-time defending state champions. Yeah, they were here um, last Friday, and I actually saw them. That good team, really good team. They have Meg Hare going to Pennsylvania University. Jamie Beheim. not exactly sure which school she's going to. She's going to U of R, and you have um, Casey Vaughn, the three seniors who have been on that run to four state tournaments and two championships. Shot clock getting low, six seconds left. Straight on three. Back off the back rim for Cheyenne Lewis. Ball by Bodies hit the floor. Away. Take advantage of it. We'll see. Fast break and a foul on Cortland. That is their third team foul. 
It's 30 to 24 here, Corlin leading with just over a minute left in the third quarter. Another three-pointer in and out. Angelina Thomason foul. Thomason goes up and she's going to the line for two. She's consistently been able to make it to the foul line tonight. Jim gets awful quiet for that. Bell Pickard in for Kara Miller. Thomason looking to go two for two on this trip to the line. That free throw makes it 30 to 25. Corlin on top. Right open three. Hits the rim twice. Morgan Table misses the open three. Now ESM down the court. Cheyenne Lewis with the two. 22 seconds left in the quarter. Shot clock is off. ESM can take the last one. Angelina takes a three. She's off. Short two for Tasai, and it's in to make it a nine point lead going. At the buzzer? To make it a nine point lead yeah, going into the fourth. Yeah, those two big baskets right there. It's a big swing. Being five down. Versus nine. So what got him back in the game was taking the ball to the basket. And they had some nice aggressive plays in that third quarter. They're gonna have to bring it here in the fourth quarter, eight minutes to go. Yeah, gotta come out on a solid run here to give him a sh chance. Just gonna have to chip away throughout the fourth quarter. So you're still picking against the Patriots? No, I'm rooting for the Eagles, but I get for what I think's gonna happen, I'd say twenty seven to seventeen Patriots. What about you? Uh I don't wanna make a prediction. Also, the all-star game for the NBA has changed it up this year, where their players get to draft other players. Yeah, I've, I'm pretty sure that's the first year of that. It's gonna make it awful, like you're used to the East versus West, and that's not the case this year. Team LeBron versus Team Steph Curry. Yeah, LeBron actually has a really good team. Just a step too slow for Amy. Gets a foul called. First of the fourth, and I'm pretty sure that is her third personal. As Lauren Ott comes in for Angelina Thomason. I haven't heard much from Lindsey Babcock since early on in the game. Spartans need a basket in a big way. I agree on that one. If you disagreed, would you tell me? Probably not. Okay. Someone with a nice drive using the glass.
going to play uh, lacrosse in college. ESM on the break, down seven, and it slows down. Cortland gets the ball, and there is a travel on Cortland. Yeah, she traveled when she hit the ground. Lindsey Babcock out, and Kathleen Starr in for Cortland. Dangerous pass. Good help. Coach Sinclair is pleading for his team to set a screen. ESM needs to stop in a basket right about now. Get it to within five in a two basket game. Foul on Taylor Filmer. Three fouls called on the Spartans this quarter. Zero on Cortland. That's three fouls on the team and three on Taylor. Coach Sinclair calling for a timeout. Out of bounds on Cortland and Coach Lynn Clark does not look happy. We'll have some subs coming in for the Spartans too at this break in action. Vinny, is this your first time on camera? Yeah, I, I've never broadcasted before, but I've always kind of wanted to. So you don't do any on-camera work anywhere else, or? Well, on the WSM morning show, I do sports every Friday and anchor from time to time. Oh, that's good. Getting some real life, real life experience. <laughs> Angela showing her dance moves down on the court. Not sure if our camera crew is picking up the, the dancing by the cheerleaders, but it's pretty nice. Angela's got a lot of enthusiasm. Let's see what Cortland drew up during the break. Five minutes left here in the fourth quarter. 34 to 27 Cortland. It's tough though. Spartans need to show a little more urgency on defense. But they're in foul trouble, so it's that mix. It's in the out of bounds on the Spartans. The more the team gets sped up, the higher frequency of turnover, so. The foul on Sam Valentine. Is that number four or number five? Cheyenne Lewis will go to the line for two. I believe that's number five. Kara Miller and Taylor Filmer come in for 
Sam Valentine and Bella Pickard after the Cheyenne Lewis free throw miss. Yeah, the, the upside is, is the Spartans can foul Cortland. They haven't made a ton of free throws. You just got to rebound those. And yeah. If this game gets close, I feel like Watch the Spartans will have an advantage because they can foul and make them shoot free throws at the line. Ball underneath. Quick shot. Arm bar. Only problem with Angelina taking outside shots is she's their best rebounder. That is a good point. See, that's the downfall of having Holly out of the game. I agree. Good rebound by Taylor. No, this Cortland team is pretty young. They, they have a chance to be pretty good next year yeah, or the year them. after. Only having two seniors. There'll be a lot more balance on the team in, in the league with uh, three from JD graduating. Thomason misses off the front iron. Bella Pickard comes in for Taylor Filmer. Seems what it, Coach Harrington wants is Bella Pickard on defense and Taylor Filmer on offense because they seem to be switching A lot of pretty that frequently. Of fouls. I'm not sure Taylor has any fouls to give, so if you have to foul... To steal for the spark. Oh. oh. Coach is arguing for possession, but I'm not sure there was possession. And they gave her the possession. Parents aren't happy with that call. They'll get a chance they can watch this game on YouTube. Cheyenne Lewis is shaking up down there on the other end. Good hustle. They, ESM, if they could have maintained the ball, they would have had a four, five on four. It's a good thing Sh Cheyenne Lewis appears to be okay. Taylor Filmer back in for Bella Pickard. Get in there. It's a layup for Angelina Thomason. Makes it a two possession game. It's a big basket. Now it's 34 to 30 here. With four minutes left, plenty of time. I'm not sure how you call that foul there. I don't agree with that one. Two players are out of control. Coach Harrington better watch out here. He doesn't want a technical in such a close game. So she gets to shoot the ball because the Spartans are, have five fouls. Now that puts Filmer with four fouls. She needs to be careful now because she 
only has one left before she fouls out. A lot of missed free throws tonight. She might have heard you because she made that one. Makes one to two. Spartan's got a chance. It's a foul on Angelina Thomason. Maybe a frustration foul. Now Cy Lewis will go to the line for two. She knocks down both of these. That puts ESM in lots of trouble. Fouls in favor for the Cortland 6-2 this quarter. Now she's got a non-point guard dribbling into a double team. It's a foul on number 11 short sleeve. ESM's getting close to the bonus. Still a two possession game. Not that there's been a lot of threes made tonight. Yeah, only three, three three-pointers and points are hard to come by, come by tonight. Out of bounds on Cortland. Angie's looking around for a foul that she didn't get. Or looking for a loose tooth that may have fallen out or. Three pointer just off the mark for the Spartans and Corlin's running down the floor fast. Their offense works pretty well, use some time off the clock. Spartans were on the break, but it didn't last for long. That could be the dagger right there. Eight points. Eight point lead, two minutes to go. Yeah, and normally you don't, eight points doesn't seem like too much, but in a game like this where points are hard to come by, it's, it's not looking good. Eight points is about a third of what they've scored tonight. And they gotta do that in two minutes. Last time these two played once again, 44 points for Cortland, 25 for ESM. So ESM's ahead of schedule. Also playing tonight, Cortland versus ESM in volleyball. ESM was victorious in three games, three games to none. The volleyball team's pretty good this year. Um, I think they're about 11 and three. I, well, I think that 12 and three now. I think you're right. So the season winding down, leave the girls finish up their season on February 1st. Oh, that might be volleyball. It's pretty close to that though. ESM will inbound with two minutes left. Not sure that that was a very smart foul because of the time left in the game. 
It stops the clock. One more, and they're in the bonus now. Just off the mark for Bell Pickard. Spartans have got to come up and start putting some pressure on the ball. What was that you said earlier about Howie Carr? Timeout by Cortland. Minute 29 left. 38 to 30 here in the last quarter. Basket here by Cortland. Just about do it, don't you think? Uh, I think eight points is tough right now. see the Spartans in action again on one of our broadcasts. You'll probably have to tune in to lacrosse. Can't believe that season starts in one month. It's coming up quick. Thankfully the, the snow's melting. Letting a lot of contact go on these. Shot clock now under 10. And the basket and the for Cortland. Goes to 10. And it looks like it. It's about over right now. Sparring just got to chuck up some shots. 30 to 40, 10 points. Got to have some urgency. Both teams now in the bonus. Carrie Miller to shoot two. And it's in for Kara Miller to make it a nine point game. 49 seconds left. Just off the front rim. Foul by Bell Pickard. Corlin will go to the line to shoot two. One of those skills you have to actually teach your girls how to foul in a end of the game situation. <laughs> Cheyenne Lewis with the. So that goes in for yep. Cheyenne Lewis. She's probably in double figures as well. Knocks down that one to make it 11 point game. 40 seconds left. You know, it's one of those games, you know, they do have their full full team because Karina St. Andrews also out tonight. They might have enough to make this a win. Almost futile to try fouling if you're not scoring on this end to foul because just a little too little chance. too late. Yeah. Good effort though by the Spartans. <laughs> she 
she knocks both of them down. Biggest lead of the game, 13. For Haven't made many free throws tonight, and now they made their last four. Shot blocked. Corlin will just run the timeout. That'll be all. Final score, 44 to 31 in favor of Cortland. Cortland improves to five and 10 as the Spartans drop to one and 13. Hey, thanks for joining us tonight. No problem, thank you. Good job for your first broadcast. That'll do it for us tonight here at Spartan Arena. Once again, final score, 44-31.